welcome to the shabby chic vintage chick page today we are working on this cute and very elegant angel for the tree it's going to be a quick easy project and i hope you love this if you do please hit the like button subscribe and always jump in on the conversation i can't wait to talk to you so i'm going to gather some of my tools here and to start off with, we are going to grab the actual white tool. Now, sorry, but it is hard to see on pretty much any surface, but it is just going to be perfect for this. So I'm measuring out approximately 36 inches of this tool, and I'm going to just make two strips of that actually, and I'm going to fold it into thirds. And this is just going to make it a little heavier, but still very elegant. Next, I'm gonna take two white beads and they're approximately 20 millimeter beads and I'm gonna stick them on a skewer. And I wanna give them just a little bit of shimmer. So if you like that, you're gonna to wanna to grab some of the um, Folk Art Acrylic Glitter. It's um, like a holographic glitter. And it's just, you know, just the slightest bit of glitter to it. And it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous with it. So on the skewer, I just take a paintbrush and I just roll it back and forth. And it really does give it a pretty good coat there. Um, and as it dries, you can see the shimmer more and more. All right, now to let it dry, I'm just gonna grab a little plastic cup or a glass and you just balance the skewer on there. Now I already have two that are dry. So I'm gonna jump ahead while those other ones are drying. I'll use those for another project. So now I'm just gonna take my tool and I'm gonna find somewhat the center and I'm gonna pinch it just like butterfly wings. And then I'm gonna grab some gold twine. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the center and just pinch it off there and fold it down just like you would if you were making a tassel. Okay, so now that we've got that tied off, we're going to thread it through the beads. And as you can see, I got the one strand through, no problem at all. The second strand kind of gave me a bit of a problem. So I'm gonna grab my bead threader, which is a super easy tool for doing this. It's just this uh, looped wire on a wooden um, handle, and we sell them on the website. So I'm gonna thread that through the bead, put the string through and pull it out. And what an easy, perfect little hack for that. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my second bunch of tool and again, I'm gonna gather it in the center. I'm gonna set it on top of that bead and take the two strands that come through that bead and just tie it off. And that's gonna hold the wings in place. Just give it a nice double knot there just to hold it well. Then I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. It's coming along already. And I'm gonna grab my bead stringer again and I'm gonna put my next bead on. And then I'm just gonna again, stick that twine through the loop, pull it through, easy peasy, there it is. And so that is the head of my angel. Now at this point, I'm going to grab some wire and I happen to have some gold wire. Copper wire would work well too. Um, this is a 20 gauge wire and I'm just going to snip a tiny bit, just about an inch of it really. And I'm going to take the paintbrush handle and I'm going to wrap it around. Now this is to make the halo. You could easily use a pipe cleaner if you want, but I just didn't have any handy. <laughs> All right, so now the two little ends, I'm just kind of twisting it there. I'm gonna grab a piece of pliers because I, I poked myself. It's a little sharp. So with some needle nose pliers, I'm just gonna pinch it off just to make sure that I don't poke myself again or that it gets tangled up in the twine. Okay, now at this point where it joins at the back, is where I want to be at the back of the angel. And I'm just gonna take my ribbon. It's gonna go one of those um, strings. Sorry, it's not ribbon, it's gold um, cording basically. One goes through the halo, one goes on the outside of the halo and just knot it on. That's gonna hold it in place. Now at this point, I'm just gonna fluff it up and you can see the angel is starting to take shape. I'm gonna take the end of the gold cording and just tie it off because it does like to unravel, so I don't want it to be unraveling while I'm working on the project. 
So I'm just going to snip it off. I do leave a little bit and kind of just fluff it out with my fingers. It just kind of gives it a tassel look there. All right. She's coming along beautifully. Now I'm going to take some ribbon and I was going to wrap it around just underneath her chest or her body part there um, and just kind of do a satin ribbon to kind of hold that bottom in place and gather it but I really wasn't fussy on it so I'm actually going to take that off and I have another plan. Okay, so I've realized I think your dress is a little long, so I'm just going to pinch it off and trim it just a wee bit shorter. Just like so, and I'm going to do the same with the wings as well. So just pinching it with your fingers kind of holds them at the same length, and then simply snipping it off gives it a fairly clean cut. Yeah, that's a much better length. <laughs> her body was just a little small for the rest of her. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some of these pearl um, little picks. They're kind of on a clear wire almost. Um, and I'm just deciding how I want them to lay for the bottom of her dress. So I'm gonna take my little scissors here and uh, I'm just gonna trim those off to the right length. And I'm gonna use my Sherbonder glue gun and I'm actually sticking the little pick right into the tip of the glue gun just to coat it with glue. And I'm gonna kind of shove it right into that bead. That's my first one. Now my second one I'm gonna snip off. And of course there's not enough room in the bead for all these picks to go into. But that first one just gives it that hold inside the bead and then from there these ones just kind of glue onto that original pick. It's a little hot, so I'm using some pliers here. And again, we'll do the same thing with the third one. If you like my glue gun as much as I do, it is a Sure Bonder and I've bought it from Amazon. The link will be in the description below. I love that it is cordless and rechargeable. It gets super hot and melts glue really fast and I absolutely love it. Now at this point I've decided I've got these string of pearls and what better to do off my pearl dress than a waistband of pearls. So I'm just going to wrap my string of pearls around. Just have to get it stuck in the glue here for a second first and then simply just twine it around. Now these have several different sizes of pearls on the string which kind of gives it a a neat look with some larger ones and smaller ones. I, I just like the way it finished off. All right, so I'm just gonna pinch it there and get the glue to hold. Put another little dollop on the back and then we'll cut the string and hold that one into place. Now I was thinking these would be beautiful done in some homespun as well. I might have to do another one tomorrow with homespun and uh, give it more of a rustic primitive look. I think it'll be absolutely gorgeous. We'll see if I get time. <laughs> All right, so our angel is coming along beautifully. Now I just need to put a little face on her. So my original thought was just to put two little dots for eyes and then a little open singing mouth. But after I kind of looked at it, and I think you'll agree, it's um, almost like a ghost face and uh, wasn't quite the cuteness that I was going for, or maybe a snowman, I don't know. Just wasn't exactly what I was going for. So I'm gonna have to go and grab my white Posca here in just a second after I fluff this up. I've got a little fleck of something in there, okay. She is cute other than that face. I just need to work on the face. So I'm gonna grab my black Posca and I'm gonna do some little lashes on her. And I think that'll give it a little more feminine of a touch. And then I'm gonna grab a white Posca and just kind of put a circle in the middle of her mouth. Kind of looks like an open mouth now. It's, it's so much cuter. 
It's funny how those little touches make such a difference. Now, I hope this angel gave you tons of inspiration and that you'll try one for yourself. I'd love to hear if you do in the comments. And of course, do me a favor and please subscribe.